the key question really that we're thinking about is politics. <laughs> right. Um, what politics is and how politics is practiced. So we're trying to think about um, how people for whom politics is not working, basically. People right. who find the government is not solving their problems or who find the government is the problem, which is quite common, um, are trying to do things by themselves in very much at a grassroots level. I just think the expectations that universities put on their staff are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. And I think it's counterproductive in the end mm. um, because it affects particularly the quality of research, mm. probably the quality of teaching too, but particularly the quality of research. It discourages people from being really adventurous mm. with uh, their ideas. And, and it, I mean, it's a difficult issue, but <clears throat> when, you, <clears throat> when you start drawing up a research project these days, you end up having to think about, you know, how many articles am I going to get published? Am I, is the book going to come out or whatever, you know, depending yeah. on what area you're in. Um, and if you're working in an area that's fairly well known and fairly chartered, you can do that. But if you want to try something that could be fantastic but might not work, mm. then, you know, it's, that's really difficult. Mm. Oh yes, almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought bigger, you know. Oh, I okay. would have, I would have um, been maybe not more ambitious, but more willing to try things. Mm. Um, and I think, you know, when I was at high school or at university or whatever, my vision of what was possible was quite restricted. Mm. And I think I've been lucky that, you know circumstances have allowed me to kind of expand the vision mm. now I would go want to go for it, to schools and say if you want to do something exciting go for it yeah. and it may not work but yeah but be try. bold mm. take a risk yeah, yeah.